All right, our last video working on these inscribed angles. Hopefully we'll have a good handle on this. Um, I have a little bit of a typo. I'm not sure if this is what it looks like in your packet. The arc symbol should be over DB right here. The measure of arc DB, that's not even a very good arc. That's a little bit better. Um, it shouldn't be over the 45. So the measure of arc DB, so here's DB, is 45 degrees. Now, if that's 45 degrees, can we find two angle measures? So first it says the angle, or yeah, angle D, A, B. So if I go from D to A to B, we want to find that angle measure. Well, we can see the vertex is on the circle. So this is an inscribed angle. And inscribed angles are half the measure of the arc. And we can see that this angle is forming that 45 degree arc. So we're going to take half of 45 and get an angle measure of 22.5 degrees. All right, then it says find the measure of DCB. So if I go from D to C to B, what kind of angle is this right here? Because the vertex is at the center of the circle, that's a central angle. And we know that central angles are equal to the arc measure. So the arc formed by that angle is DB, it's 45 degrees, which means the central angle will match that and also be 45 degrees.